Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 22 The Show Red Sox Franchise Mode. And first of all, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who are, you know, who has been constantly watching this type of video. Uh, love you guys so much. Um, well, I haven't even made an announcement yet. I just keep saying thank you. Uh, we have finally reached 300 subscribers. It's not a lot. It's only three digits, but still... It's a massive achievement for me because, again, um, I started this channel five years ago when I was starting to do a FIFA video, a FIFA 17 video, and I did a little bit of a the show video member uh, back in what 20, 2017 summer. I was after uh, my last day of my last exams in high school, and I was on uh, I was on the move to university. Even that whole summer, I have a four five months break so i decided to start this channel but never would i thought of actually reaching uh you know 300 the fact that i know that the uh, subscriber counts went up uh significantly for the past few months has been such a huge uh, more support for me it's a motivation for me to keep posting it every day uh, it really depends on what the content was of course i did quite a lot of fifa video and of course uh, for the past two, the show I've been uploading quite consistently, especially for this season. I think I've been doing a fantastic job. But more importantly, I think the fact that you guys keep watching my video every day. I post it every day. I, I don't know if you guys are being annoyed at how uh, how many videos that I post uh, per week. But the fact that the majority of you guys or the new watchers or the old watchers or the newcomers, uh, old watchers... If you get, I mean, you guys stay um, after what two, three months of, of this whole series. I really do, you know, want to say thank you to all of you because without you guys, I wouldn't be here where I am today. Of course, um, I'm not, I, I don't get paid for this to be honest. Still, 300 subscribers is pretty much nothing compared to other uh, channels out there. But the fact that it's a personal achievement for me, uh, it's a personal success. Um, I'm definitely motivated to 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 even like learn more and make more videos at this point because I don't know it's just it's it's just a huge I don't know how I want to say this but it is a quite a big achievement for me so from the bottom of my heart I really do want to say thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting this video of course uh, some of you guys leave some very kind words to me in uh, uh, in a few videos back then really do appreciate it i i read all of them because i only have one or two comments sometimes in, in in a month but uh the fact that having such kind words uh from you guys means a lot to me and of course right now we have reached 300 we're looking forward to uh you know 350 400 uh, uh, uh eventually going up to maybe 1k in the future i don't know how long it's going to take for me but I'm I'm willing I'm committed to to upload every day if I can because honestly right now I have nothing much to do I'm still looking for a full time job right now after uh, three four months again I'm a newly graduate uh, I'm a newly graduate student um, at UBC University of British Columbia and of course I'm still looking for a full time job but meanwhile I've been that's why I have so much time uh, uploading the show to be honest. So again, thank you guys for so much. And right here, moving to the gameplay, we are playing the second game of this three-game series against Tampa Bay Rays. Early on, eight nothing already. Of course, the big guy that we need to talk about is Johan Mises. A grand slam once again. I believe he hit uh, the second grand slam in this season already. I remember he hit a grand slam a few episodes ago against Kakuchi. I still remember that game. We were three nothing down, and all of a sudden, uh, one swing of the bat. Um, it's a whole difference 4-3 but this time of course we have a much more comfortable lead a much more comfortable game in general and right here eight nothing already uh two home runs hit by the red sox player of course johan Mises with a grand slam and also a two run home run i think from matt alston again his power just coming along and we have chris sale on the mound today through six innings so far hasn't given up a single run yet again he seems to be uh kind of getting his groove back just a slightly bit after i would say a, a not uh, not a very good outing for the past few times for Chris Sale. But anyway, through six innings, he hasn't allowed a single run yet. But based on the pitch count, right, there's 16-9 uh, pitches uh, for, what, uh, six 
6.1 out. Uh, that's a very good conversion rate, to be honest. I'm looking forward to use him until uh, when he when he's tired or when he's giving up a run yet. But right there, 3-7, uh, no runs are being allowed. Oh, count to Ronaldo uh, Hernandez, again, newly called up. Prospect, unfortunately, not having the best of his time on the bench, to be honest. I don't think... Uh, he was the right call for me, to be honest. I think we still need an experienced catcher behind the mound because honestly, I think right now it's just hurting Hernandez in a lot of ways. The fact that he is, you know, he needs experience in the big leagues, but the fact that he's not playing every day compared to Rushman again, um, I'm just favoring Rushman at this point. So we gotta do something about uh, Hernandez quite soon. But right then, fortunately, Chris Sale couldn't finish the game with a shout out, but instead giving up that solo home run to Austin Meadow and, to uh, and Tanner Houck will be coming on to, to make an appearance right there for the final out at the bottom of the top of the eighth. And Matt Weisler right here is going to pitch for the Red Sox. And the second batter he faces was Raphael Devers. But what a surprise right here, 2-2 two -two count to Devers and a hanging slider right down the middle. And that's a home run over the wall for a solo home run. And we further extended the lead to 9-1 right here again. Uh, Devers showing great power once again. Great leadership in terms of the power, uh, power category. But right there is definitely a piece of cake right there to be honest. Just pulls that one over the wall and 363 feet I believe. It would have been a home run in any major league ballpark. And later on 0-1 Count Trevor Story continues to add more runs on the scoreboard. Matt Olsen's going to score from that play right there. RBI double to further extend the lead to 10-1 at the bottom of the eighth. And right now we're moving on to the last uh, to the last half of the inning and Josh Taylor will be coming on to make his 23rd appearance with, of the season with an ERA 0. 0.4 and he is trying to close down this last three outs in the 0-0 count to Brandon Lowell and he hits that one very sharply to Trevor Story. And we have won this series 2-0 but uh, more importantly, 10-1 was the final score in today's game. And offensively, we did a lot of uh, we did we 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 did a very good job to be honest. 10-1, uh, having 14 hits while the Rays only had two hits, and of course, unfortunately, it was that home run that uh, that Chris Sale couldn't get the shutout with. And play of the game, Chris Sale, no doubt, despite giving that home run, striking out 10, allowing two hits, Honey, and Tyler Glass now, unfortunately, will be taking loss. Couldn't go through uh, two innings at all. But offensively, turn up big time. Matt Olson with a home run, Devers with a home run, and Johan Mises with a home run as well. Actually, it's not a grand slam. It it, it was only a three RBI home run. I thought it was a grand slam. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.